Hello everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to the Crossroads Caravan. It's Scavenger Scout here, and we're going to be playing more The Outer Worlds. <clears throat> Yoka sent us here to avenge her crew by being murdered from a Manta Queen. We're going to see where this thing is actually shovel. Flamer. Those are just beautiful. I wonder what kind of fla I was see. I wish we could get like the flora and fauna of this place too, because that's just beautiful looking. <clears throat> Clara. Okay, hang on. Now. I have everything here from the. Storage. Uh, opal, huh? Oh, I see her. <clears throat> Let's take him down. It stood right in my way. But you guys get back here. Everyone all right? Sure. Alright. Both of you stand there. Opal. Really? Heading back. <clears throat> On me. Carapace. Carapace. Seating area. This is pig bits. Alright. Fucking feeding area. Looks like they were chewing on some canid. Place the well, glands. This is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be alright in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad. A little sad, yeah. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Yeah. Did feel a bit different when I walked in. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. Yeah. You built all this? Badass. We in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Ah. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Badass. A teenager out here in Monarch? Damn. Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated mm. contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Yeah. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. 
Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Hmm. Sorry, they aren't here to see us kick some ass. Let's do this, shall we? Looks like we're doing this. What are y'all doing? Sure. But yeah, you all ran in there like idiots. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Oh. Alright, where's your titties? Right in the man titties. Go. Show me your titties. Goes. Tremor Cleaver Ultra. Right. That was fun. She nesting up with anything. Nah. We did it. We fucking did it. I'd hug you if I weren't covered in guts. Come on, let's find those medallions. All right, all right. <laughs> Clara. No, she was real important to you. Cartridge. Hey, bypass and lock pick. Oop, didn't grab the smokes. Uh, Opal. Benjamin Mark Three helmet. All right, got your medallions. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. Yeah. This, bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but <laughs> that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. Anytime, dude. You're welcome. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd... I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I leave everyone's medallions to rest. Um, yeah, you're leaving those here. I think you should hand on, hold on to those medallions. What? Why? Them's painful memories, Captain. They're your memories. They'll help remind you both the good and bad, not just the bad. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. Like when that I kid joined onto the team. Thanks. Not a problem. Alright. Oh, she buried everybody around the campfire. Oh. You know, I'd been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, oh shit! Ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. And yeah. to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools. <laughs> yeah. So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. <laughs> Sounds good. Outstanding. All right. Salmon. Clara, the closest thing to a sister I ever lost. His most egregious crime was having the gall to die before me, Jackson. Between raptodons and women, he died doing what he'd loved chasing Thale. <laughs> Anders. At the very least, you came back to us in the end. One of the very few who deserved better. Wow. Grab 
Grab that wrap done meat, and then we'll just move out. I think nobody else is ever going to be here again. Somebody stumbles across it one day, but I doubt it. Ah, oh, you bastards. Model ship. All right. Probably took care of her manticore problem. Or mantisaur. Back into Monarch we go. Mana Queen examined. Yeah, we took her out. She once was strong, but now no more. Because we took down the Manta Queen. Ah. Shit, since we're clearing up all these companion quests, we gotta be getting close to the end. And I did slowly realize it's up to like episode 50, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm surprised that. Because uh, New Vegas went super long, and this is made by the same dude, so like. I guess, yeah. This one's just more. Not story driven, but, um. Lineated? Like, the path is more. In front of you. Journal. City of the Stars. Maverick said, an audition. Oh, Jesus Christ. Friendship is due. Groundbreaker wants me. Hello, Felix. Okay. F fine task. Yeah, that's right. She wants me to fucking model those spacesuits for her, but I'm like, dude, I don't think I have those. <laughs> um. The Lying Earth. Alright. Map. Mappy, 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 map. The friendship is due. Really? In Fallbrook? I'm surprised. Alright. Figured it'd make me go to the ship and sail away to some place. I didn't think it was also here down in Fallbrook. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Sha There it is, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Rosanna. There is somebody here in Fallbrook, he knows. You like, I found your friend. Hopefully, they're alive. Dude, in the knock knock jokes. Always imagined Fallbrook would be. Damn it, they still want me to go back to my ship? Alright. <clears throat> yeah, could've just told me, want me back on my ship. Could've just fast traveled right there, save myself a minute. <laughs> but no. <laughs> <sighs> Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. I mean, really, we only s almost got this thing confiscated twice, actually. One's a grounded for some fines, and then the second time was when the UMC or whatever drove up on us in the space station. We just talked our way out of it. 
Not the droid you're looking for. Oh. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? No, you pervert. To the groundbreaker. Mm, boink. Mm. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. Thank you. Like now, you know we can get Pravati in here. <clears throat> Cause she is an angel and she should be cherished like one. <laughs> so Felix is was brought up by a resistance leader or was friends with a resistance leader a long time ago. <laughs> I want chicken, I want liver, meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. smugglers area yo no way Kites. Hello? Someone there? Help! I'm locked in here! Can you get me out? Thank you, Dude. stranger. Shit, ain't that a relief? You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Oh again, my friend. god. How long have you been in there? Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I haven't clocked out in days. Oh Song my is god. Gonna have my ass for wage theft. What happened? What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. What? <laughs> well, actually, two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. That's fucked up. Alright. Uh. Good luck, dude. Just just get out of the poo room. Ah oh, man. He's got diseases in this feces. Um Oh no way. Felix! It's like, yeah, they're not even supposed to be on that ship right there. Back tamer. All right, hushing up. Not really a hushing up kind of time. I'm just kind of checking out what we got going on here. Never been up <gasps> on the upper wharf area, or upper catwalk. Oh shit! They were eating an engineer. 
Maintenance work. Huh. Yep. <laughs> About right. Alrighty. There's the barred door. Get out of here. <clears throat> Go back around to where he was. It's considered stealing? Where the fuck am I? Lost Hope's Bar, huh? Steel ketchup. Backpack. Like, there really is nothing in here I want. Like, nothing just stands out. Oh, key card. There we go. Hey. I was looking for you. You mind trying to have a moment here? Looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trisk. Told he lived around here? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, if you know where your Trask is, you want to tell me. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not a man. gonna hurt him. Um, if he puts up a fight, it won't be your fault. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Just get out of here, please. Not a problem. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. Thank you. That's as much as I know. Got a question please, or two? Just make it quick. You and him split up. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months oh, ago. Oh, shit. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. I'm sorry. Um. Uh, Harlow tells me that Trask betrayed him. You know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was right. here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow, did he? No, and he was particular about that. Shit. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Damn Little it. late for that, says I. Just trying to figure out what's going on between them. How much do you know about him? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about yeah. getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Oh, damn. All right. Sounds familiar, Felix. He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with a fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. All right. All I wanted to know. Thank you. Appreciate it. No offense, man. Just been a long day, is all. It's cool. All right. <clears throat> hey there. What are you doing after work? <laughs> oh, I just went the wrong wow, way. That's really. What the hell? <laughs> when might we, we expect you out here again? Oh shit, Felix. Now we gotta go to the Emerald Vale and find your friend. <clears throat> or find your... His, a friend for your friend? That he wants me to put a bullet in, but uh, I think I can talk him out of it. Figure out what the fuck happened. You know. Do the cool thing instead of the shit thing. A bad person. <laughs> oh, can you feel the love tonight? It's loaded inside my gun. It's 
specifically the acidic sniper rifle that we have, the six shooter. <laughs> I think it's just murderous with intent. <laughs> headshot dead, headshot dead, chest shot dead. I think I ass shot a monkey twice and then he died. <laughs> One of the primals. <laughs> Water landing pad. It's been a while since we've been to fucking Edgewater. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Alright. We'll be here. Captain? Or Let's go. We? Felix uh -huh. and Pravati. My chip's mocking me. The Emerald Veil. Vale. Come see us. Unveil our emeralds to you. <laughs> Show me the money. No, oh, damn you. Thank you. That was something like a man. <laughs> Marp. Oh shit. Alright, well, botanical labs, here we come. Teleport. Miracle on the frontier. Do do do. This loading screen shouldn't be that long, considering we're already on the planet. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm the asshole. <laughs> there we go. See his little arm stop dancing back and forth. Alright, so it's up here, take a left. Like a rock. Oh yeah, anything I can... Just checking. Nah. Nothing. Take anything at this point. Oh, they're already dead. Like, <laughs> oh. Got it going on. One down. Two down. Dog died. Oops. Shot Don't in the dick. <laughs> Over his head twice and then once in the dick. Rotter. Yeah, meat. Bins. Eh, looks like they fought some other marauders. Oh, okay. this nifty it's like a lava flow river it's no longer a flow oh, okay we're cool I was like are they holding a hostage cuz uh... <laughs> hey Rufus you got some splaining to do I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here 
but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Uh, yeah, he said... You're, yeah, your wife told me where to find you. Former wife. My bad. And if you so much as hurt a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. No, no. Harlow, no, she's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. That's fair. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. What happened? Yeah, why did you betray him? How do I know that I can trust you? Dude, seriously? What's the worst that could have happened? Harlow send a stranger with a gun after you. <laughs> yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen. I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. You're asking me to take your word? Show me evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. Oh shit. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Uh, yeah, there is. You're looking at him. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent no in the shit. utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. All right. Why would the board buy off Harlow anyway? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And All that right. includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Yeah. Sounds like a deal to me. All right. What is Harlow doing for the board anyway? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If Dick. we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. All right, thank you very much. Take it, you've made up your mind. I have. Um, I'm not going to kill you, Drask, but I'm going to ask you for your ring. You going to tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. I'm sorry, dude, but your mentor is fucking corrupt. <laughs> All right, for now, you guys have a good morning, good evening, or good night. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And as always, um, yeah, it's been Scavenger Scout. We need to fast travel back to our... E there we go. Unreliable. And as always, we are signing out.